Hello, hello everybody, and this is my, one of my shrimp breeding experiment tanks. This tank has a mixture of Blue Dream Genetics, Bloody Mary Genetics, and Really Genetics. So, Reallys come from Carbon Blue Reallys that my blues through. The, there are Bloody Mary Reallys in here from my Bloody Mary Really project. When I reset that tank, the buried females, I put the buried females in here. And then when I first started it, I started it with carbon really, blue carbon really, and Bloody Marys. So we have Bloody Marys, we have blues, we have lots of carbon reallys in here. We got <laughs> hodgepodge of everything. So what we're going to do, we're going to see the results of this breeding project and see all the crazy combinations of things that we've created. We're going to take this tank apart. And I have another project I'm going to use this tank for because the whole point of this is I wanted to create blue red rallies so they would be blue bloody mary reallys is what i was going after and we do have some but not that like here's one right there that's a really good one actually i really like that one that's what i was going after but in one of my blue dream tanks i have some that are being thrown that are really good better than these and so I'm going to go after that and go for the Spider-Man, Superman. I think sometimes I accidentally call them one or the other. Look at that one there. We got some crazy looking dudes and gals. So this tank's coming down and restarted. But let's pull out all this moss and we'll get all these shrimp. We'll see how many shrimp are in here and we'll get a good idea. And just what kind of shrimp we're dealing with in here. These guys are cool. I like them a lot. Let's get busy. Alright, I get them excited. Time to see exactly what we have in here. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Look at all that. Oh my goodness. Excuse me for that. I have... Coming down with something, I think. I've been feeling pretty bad lately. Alright. Oh, there's so many of them in here. So I know the easy thing for everyone to say. How many times have you seen someone say it? You mix different colors of shrimp together. All you're going to do is end up with a bunch of wilds. Well... I don't think that's the case. Now, the way I look at it is, no matter what you do with shrimp, if you give one single flip <laughs> about how they look, you're going to have to call. It doesn't matter how good the line is, you're going to have to call. Now, you try to mix them together. Now, there's different things that come into play, too, is certain genetics mix better than others you mix similar genetics you're more likely to end up with something cool and less likely to end up with a bunch of wilds now i think if over the course of time if i let this go unchecked for a couple years i think we would end up with mostly black shrimp and carbon rallies and some wilds now well, I haven't seen that many wild looking shrimp in here. Now, granted, black can be considered a wild form. But, 
you just got to pick out the ones you don't like. Now, you're always going to sacrifice quality. Now, if you care about having the best quality shrimp and that's your number one goal, don't ever mix shrimp. But for me, I like both ways. I like experimenting, having fun, seeing what happens, and trying new things that probably a lot of people don't try. I like to see what what's going on with these genetics and how they interact together. And I think I learned a lot after this and some other projects I have going. I am 95% confident I have figured out really genetics in Neos. So I'm fairly certain of it. <laughs> and so I have a couple ideas for our next project. And I'm not sure which ones I'm going to do. Now, when it comes to like blue reallys, almost all you're going to see available is some form of blue carbon really. That's what blue reallys are. That's, I mean, that's what they are available. I just did a Google search. And then another project I want to try, another line I want to make, and I'm, I'm 90 some percent sure that I can pull it off is yellow reallys. Now yellow reallys, I've looked, there's like one Google search that shows up yellow reallys and they're sold out. And it's a horrible, horrible shrimp that's in the picture. And I don't even know how long ago it's from. So let me know in the comments what you want to see me try to make. What do you think? I want to do yellow reallys. And when we talk about blue reallys, like I was talking about, most of them are blue carbon reallys. But I want to try to make, I seen this shrimp in my Skittles. So I was packing up Skittles orders a while back. And I seen a blue really, not some blue carbon deal or whatever, just a blue call that someone's lined out to a line. It is a real blue, clear, blue, really. So I think I can make one of those too. So I think I'm probably going to do both in the future. But which one of those would you like to see? I know yellow reallys are not really all that common. And I don't know if there's people that would want them. But would you guys think? Now, it would take years to pull off. I'll have something to resemble yellow release probably in like four or five months. But it would take years to line them out. And, you know, I think that would be another fun thing to try to do in my project tanks. All right. Let's take a quick look at what we've got here. All kinds. You can see even the little tiny babies. Oh, look at this one here. We can zoom in and get the focus on that one. That's a really nice one right there. That's a cool one. So we did make it happen. But I think we're going to have better. I took. Mixing all these different lines together, I think it's going to be easier selecting from a group that was thrown naturally from a line. Because I've already got little baby Spider-Mans popping up in that tank. Now, I wasn't real picky with the ones I selected. I just wanted to get it started in that project tank. So you can see what we've got here. Cool, cool, cool shrimp. All right. Look at up here on the brick. Look at that cluster of colors. Cool looking ones. I don't see a whole lot of wilds, according to a lot of people on the internet. You mix them together, you just get wilds. 
I mixed like four different lines together here. I don't see that many wilds, do you? All right, so let's put out an algae wafer and we'll do a time lapse and see just how many are in here. Cool, cool. I think most of these, I'm going to put all these guys. Oh, there's a little good one, it looks like. Very cool. Let's take a good look, close look at what we have here. All kinds of variations. There are some more wilds creeping in there. That's a good one right there. Look at that guy. Lots of cool shrimp. Variations. It's interesting how there's light blue and dark blue. Interesting. So like I said, all these guys are just going to go. I'm going to put them all in the Skittles tank. And then... This tank down here on the floor, it's really hard to see. I put in a handful of kind of, there's one. So we're going to go through and pick out the Spider-Man, Superman, whatever you want to call them in here. Eh, duckweed. And those will be, there's several in here. I know there's a big buried female. That might not be the best way to start a. There's lots of shrimp in here. I put them in here. The ones that had a little bit of red on them and some really type of looking guys that were when I had my 75 gallon blue dream tank. And I never had them pop up like that before. So I singled out like 20 or so that were kind of close. And there's probably like five really good ones so we're gonna go through and I've seen some good baby ones too so we're only gonna pick the really good ones and those are what we'll restart that tank with for the spider-man shrimp project Let's see there's one kind of yeah so basically what it is is the blue carbon reallys the black on the head and tail, you want that to be red. All right, here's a full tank reset in a minute. First, pulled out the filters and the brick that I have in there. Finish catching out as many shrimp as I can. Drain it down to about an inch of water. Catch some shrimp. Catch the pleco. Start scooping out substrate to make it easier to catch the last few shrimp. When I'm confident I got all the shrimp, shot back it out, filled up with warm water, give it a rinse, scrub, scrub the sides off a little bit, drain it back down. And see when we, oh yeah, put the filter back in. Put the brick back in, put the sand back in, that's already rinsed. Put some moss in, hold it down with rocks, fill it back up, put the plucko back in, and there you go. Alright, so these are the spider mines I found. I was surprised how many there are. I hope that's showing up, that flashlight. 
There's actually a lot of little ones in there. I'm going to have to let that tank go for a little bit longer. Because I think we're going to end up with a lot more. So we'll pick them out as they show up in that tank. And then we'll use the tank we're starting now. That we just reset. To perfect them in. Alright. Let's let these. Spider-Mans out. Hello. Come on. Come on. They're not cooperating. <laughs> Come on. There we go. I'm excited about these. Way back in the day, where I really knew what I was doing, I had a handful of these pop up and a line I had, I think it was my old Black Rose line, and I was thrilled to death with them and always wanted to try to do one on purpose. Yep, there you have it, they're in the new tank, one project done and another one started. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.